guys welcome back to my channel today what i'm filming is a pretty purple mauve smoky eye um i didn't want to do just a standard black smoky eye because i feel like they're everywhere so i wanted to do something different give you guys some other options i really love purple that's my favorite color so i thought i include this in the tutorial for you all it's really easy only thing i can recommend here is to keep blending for your life <laughs> with smoky eyes to be honest because if you don't blend it too well it will look really messy so i will give you my options here on what i'm blending the products i'm using as well as the lip color that i'm wearing here so if you want to see how i achieve this easy smoky eye look continue to watch so for that red color you see is raspberry from black radiance bay blush and i'm just going to go ahead and just blend that so I can have it as a transition color for the other colors that I'm going to lay next to it. So I'm just taking that fluffy brush and blending up towards my brow bone. So I just wanted to give you guys that foundation of what I am doing to blend. So just keep blending as you see me doing here with that fluffy brush. And also from the Missy Lynn palette, I am taking that brown color and I'm just putting it right underneath that red raspberry color that I put first from Black Radiant. So I'm taking that dark, deep purple berry color to my lid to start my smoky eye. And the reason why I like to do my transition colors first because it's way easier to blend it, in my opinion. So I'm just tapping that here and getting that started here and as you see I'm taking that dual fiber part on the brush and just blending it out more and don't worry about fallout because whatever may fall onto your face if you did your foundation first you could just take a makeup white and clean it up so it's an easy fix so just do what you have to do to blend it and then you will see so it takes a lot of blending I cut this clip a little bit short because it was longer just to save time so as you can see I'm taking the other brush to blend it out seamlessly now what I did is take the dark deep berry purple color in the Missy Lynn palette just to create an outer V there so I can smoke it out just a little bit more so as you can see I'm taking that Morphe brush and blending it out even more so it just blends all well together so this is what it should look like after it's all blended and lashes added and liner I did off camera for my lips today I will be using the Maybelline expert brow it's for eyebrows, but it's too light for my brows, and it's in the color dark brown. So I'm going to use that to outline my lips here. So... On top of that, I'm going to be using MAC Snob. I really love this pink. This is like the first pink lipstick I ever bought. From MAC during my makeup journey, but it's like a pretty mauve pink, has blue undertones, so I'm going to be using that on top. And the reason why I use the brown lip liner first is because that's how you don't get that pink powdery look and it looks ashy. So, you know. I do recommend a brown pencil. Some people don't think it's really necessary, but it is. It would definitely make a huge difference here. So just want to give you that tidbit. Don't just put snob directly on your lips if you're a woman of color. And also, I have the Gucci Beauty Lip Lacquer, and it's in number 80. It's really pretty. Gucci came out with like a beauty line. So they have like the lip glosses, lip, um, lip glosses, lipsticks, and things like that. So I will be applying this on top to mute the pink a little bit more so it's not as bright. I actually love this lip um, lacquer because it lasts really a long time. It smells really great. And as you can see, it has like the purple reflex in it. And I did that because I did a purple smoky eye. So yeah, it's really pretty. Okay guys, so my camera died in between filming, which really sucks, but I just wanted to still give you an idea of what I use. So entire foundation, I use the Ket Cosmetics, which is a really great translucent powder. So that's really good. I love that stuff. For my eyeliner, I use the NYC Liquid Eyeliner. I did that off camera. 
Also, for my lashes, I use the Ardell 105s. These are really pretty and full. I love those. As well as for my eyelash adhesive, I use Duo. I love Duo. That's just my thing. Um, for my blush, I use Fantastico Mauve from Milani. It's a really pretty purple blush to go with the purple smoky eye, of course. So, also for my um, highlight, I use a Magnetic Attraction Eyeshadow. It's really pretty, as you can see, it has gold and purples in it. It was limited edition, so they may not have it anymore. But, yeah, that's what I use. So, I wanted to give you guys insight on that so you don't miss anything okay guys i thank you so much for watching and subscribing i really do appreciate the love you guys are giving me here as you know it is not easy to come here and do everything on camera but i really love it so i'm doing it for you guys and i will definitely see you all in my next video as i mentioned if you haven't subscribed yet be sure to subscribe below so you don't miss any uploads i love you guys so much i'll see you in my next video bye